I think if women get with older men, it will prevent them from getting ran through and belonging to the streets. You know, by women getting with guys their age, a lot of guys their age ain't really trying to be with one girl. They're trying to experiment and have sex with white women, Asian women, black women, tall women, short women, thick women, skinny women. They want to feel, they want to get, their curiosity is high. So they want to experiment. They don't want to be settled down in their mind and testosterone level. They don't know nothing about, they ain't trying to be with one girl and no signs of being married and all that type of stuff. But if a woman that age, they don't even appreciate the young type punani. You know what I'm saying? They don't they don't appreciate that punani. So they don't even know how good they got it by being a young dude. You know what I'm saying? They just thinking it's always gonna be tight. They think it's always gonna be like that. They don't understand that when they dealing with in this world, you know, when you're dealing with that type of um when you're dealing with women and how they're gonna get ran through the streets and get passed on because they get they get they're trying to get the cute guys when they're young in high school, they start having sex about really in middle school, sometimes even sometimes even fifth grade to each other. But I would say for the most part, most people are like ninth grade, eighth grade, ninth, eighth ninth grade. I would say um, they don't understand that them guys ain't gonna stay with them. So they get ran through at an early age, especially nowadays with sex is, you know what I'm saying? Sex is on a on a pedal stool, you know, everything is over sexualized. But a guy that's older, he he knows that a woman ain't always gonna be they her panani not gonna be tight. He knows that she's not always gonna be looking as good. She's not always gonna be as innocent. So he's gonna value a younger woman more, you know what I'm saying, due to the fact that most women, you know, when they get older, they, a lot of them get ran through, they get scarred. They get, you know, judgmental because they had bad experiences. You know what I'm saying? It's easy for them to, you know, start getting a negative chip on their shoulder and stuff like that. So you got to understand that an older man will, nine times out of ten, the right older guy, he's not going to, um, he'll appreciate her, you know. And if if that woman wants something serious, now if she just want, now there's some young guys that's smarter than the other guys, and they know how to stay with a girl while while, while they're young and while the girl young. But that's rare. Most guys they gonna miss out on a good girl because they're gonna be trying to be experiment all these other people, all these other girls and stuff. And the next thing you know, you know they get older and they realize that. You know, it ain't the same. You know what I mean? They, older guys gonna have to start spending their money, or you know what I'm saying, on younger women, or on you know, or women gonna be judging them based on their finances and status. And but if a if a if a if a girl like 18 get with a, get with a guy 25 or 30, you know what I'm saying? I think it'll definitely um, it'll definitely um, I keep hitting this thing. It'll definitely, uh, it'll definitely prevent her from being ran through the streets. You know what I'm saying? Because the streets ain't no joke, man. Uh, it messes the woman's body up, and then you got they got to deal with telegani. You know what I'm saying? You know, a lot of y'all know what telegani is. Microcisms. It's uh, women. It's DNA getting stored in women's brains from other men. And then it comes out during a conception that it can be one guy egg and all that other DNA, all that other DNA from all them other guys, they end up having sex. They they end up it it, it gets drained in that egg, and then the baby come out with five or six or seven different dudes characteristics, all because the DNA, all because um, so it got me thinking, it got me thinking. I definitely got some sons out there. A son out there, you know what I'm saying? Because I've been with women. I've been with women, and they saying that you know you can suck up, you suck up these people DNA, and it's crazy. So this DNA is this DNA stuff is real. So it's not good to be promiscuous, man. 
And that's why, you know, God, it all goes down to the Bible, man, how God be saying, wait, do you get married and all this stuff? It's a reason. If you want your baby to have all your genetics and you don't want Telegony to take place in there, T-E-L-E-G-O-N-Y. If you don't want Telegony to be a, you know, be a part of your, your child's makeup where it got other guys' genes and stuff like that, then you got to be, you got to get with a guy that's real serious with you. Get with an older guy. Get with an older guy, a couple years older, um, but the right one that's really showing you interest and stuff. You know, your gamble is better with older guy. A woman's gamble is better. Nothing is guaranteed, but a woman's gamble is better when when the guy is older than when he her age, because she gonna keep she keep getting guys her age. She gonna be skipping to the one guy to the next until she get older. You know, until she get at least about. Shh, 25, she been a had already knocked down, gave out. She been already gave, say, two, let's say two times a year. Two, four, six. Let's say she started having sex at 19. Two, four, six, eight, ten. But by the time she's 25, she been had already been with 10 to 12 guys at 25. If not more, but at least 10 to 12 guys. So that's, you know, all that DNA, all those molecules, you know, that's a lot of DNA. That's a lot of molecules, you know. So you gotta look at that. People gotta look at that and think about: Do you want your child to have one person DNA, or all the other guys DNA, and demons and generational curses and all this stuff that you gotta deal with, all because you didn't know how to pick a mate? You know, you wanted to be promiscuous. You wanted to be a player. You wanted to be a you want to be this, you want to be that. At the end of the day, it's not worth it, man. Um, and an older guy can guide a younger girl. You know what I'm saying? He'll be able to guide her a little more, you know, and he'll know a little more than a guy her age. You see what I'm saying? So, and he'll be he'll know how to handle her nature, her attitude, her attitude a little better. He'll know how to handle her attitude a little better. He'll know how to handle her in general a lot better. All because. All because, um, all because he older, you know, he's more experienced, you know. So you got to understand that in this world, if that women going to get ran through and they're going to belong to the streets as long as they keep dealing with guys they age. So, I mean, they need to promote this stuff in schools and stuff like that, you know what I'm saying? Because... Other than that, they're just gonna get ran through. Most of the guys when younger, I was that guy that get that age. I didn't know what a good girl was. I didn't know what a. I came across. I had all that. I came across the, the good girls and you 17, 18. You got all them good girls and they innocent. They all yours. They 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 vagina tight. They innocent. They ain't been with a lot of guys. One or two guys. A lot of them virgins. Them days over, man. You get older, you can't, you know what I'm saying? You know, unless I get a, even the young girl's been getting ran through now. So even if you get an 18, 19, 20 year old, it's, you know, they already got Telegani up in them, DNA from other guys. They already got DNA from other guys. They already got, uh, they already got a lot of stuff, man. Um, they already got so much. They got so much, you know, scars and stuff like that. So I think it'll just an even society will get evened out even better. It'll just get evened out better for women's sake if they learn how to get with an older guy. And um, it'll prevent them a lot of heartache, a lot of pain, a lot of misery, headache, drama, all this and that because... You know, and that's, you know, but you got to get the right older guy. Nobody perfect, but I just think that the chances are a little, the chances are a lot higher um, with an older guy. So, ladies, if you see this video, get with an older guy. Guys, if you know a girl that's getting ran through by guys her age, you know what I'm saying, that Telegani is kicking in, you uh, know, she, she's about to be, she's about to belong to the streets. Go ahead and tell her. Get a guy a couple years older. He'll appreciate you a lot more than the guys your age that's just trying to get a quick boom, boom. 
And they ain't trying to take you serious like that. Y'all know who I am. I'm Alan Williams. Hit the bell. Um, like, subscribe. Share the video to whoever you want to hear the video. Remember, I love you, but Jesus love you more. Ring the nation, we out. I never knew it was something really out here that can actually make your dick a little bigger and your your dick thicker. I mean, I never, I just never could understand. I never could fathom something that really can do that. I've been eating this shit, man, from the store every day, and I just happen to like it. But I didn't realize that. I said, man, why the fuck is all it? My stomach getting flatter and unnecessary fat that I had on my body is disappearing. And I noticed that my dick got longer and my dick got thicker. What the fuck going on here? I started thinking, what have I been doing different? Come to find out, it's that shit I've been eating. If you want to know what I've been eating, Message me, it's $20. Message me on Instagram at Allen Ray in that show, all right? And I tell you, this shit is wild, man. Allen Ray in there, that's my guy, man. He's the truth. He wasn't lying, man. Like, really works? I ain't gonna put you on. You gotta do what I did to get on, but definitely gonna get them gains. You might have to tuck your jump off under your belt by your belly button because you're gonna be walking around with a heart on. He was a lion, bro. Definitely works. Go check my man out, Allen Rillionaire. One. Hey guys, I've been getting emails about uh, guys that took my hand bone remedy uh, that it's working for them as well. You know, I originally told you guys it was working for me, but it's working for guys from all over the world. So hurry up and message me on Instagram at Allen Rillionaire Show if you want that remedy. It's good for your overall health as well, as well as your hand bone your dick so you can dick and grow and be strong and healthy and you can please the woman you love alan reagan their show on instagram what's up this your boy soldier boy make sure y'all check out my boy pookie man and ray ray really in that dance challenge videos on tiktok man song five man check them out asap man check out my main man alan really in that youtube channel let's get it